Okay. Here's a quick video of some of the main stuff I take out with me when I do a job. <coughs> That's my hard hat. Rechargeable. There's my my Atlas 46 vest. Done some things to customize it. Looks to what the tough built. It's got a little clip on the back. Clips right on. It's easier to clip on when it's uh, when it's on. It's on the floor right now. And then I took the same pouch here, removed these screws, added this. So it's like the same thing. It's a Klein pouch. It's cool when I gotta carry. Uh, Cameras that will fit in here. Other hardware. D rings. Love D rings. Um, yeah, it's cool. The bolts I put in the back. I gotta cut these down and get smaller ones. Maybe tape them off too. Because when I reach into my pocket, these kind of grab at me a little bit. And I also wear this on my vest as well. Some of these client pouches around uh, Black Friday, and uh, don't know what to put into them yet. But I put a uh, different color tape in this one, and uh, white tape in this one because white tape is useful for taping things together and writing on it. I have a really strong magnet. That finds my nails and screws in the wall so I can find the stud. These, these are my rings to put in the wall. Have a little broom right here for quick cleanup. Staple gun, staples, zip ties. Uh, this one I use for our J45s. These are not cheap, but I believe they provide the best connection for the customer. Here's a uh, crimper. Has a built in continuity tester. Ratcheting. Okay. And this Veto Pro Pack. I think it's a small meter pack. Has, uh, tons of storage. And I use it just for RJ45. If I need to, I can unclip it. And clip it back on. Get back to the, to the toolbox. Okay, that unclips and clips on if I want. I open this up and 
basically what I have going on in here. It's just a uh, tote, a uh, Stanley tote, and it had these parts solid, which I could drill in and make spots, and it had corners, and it, it just worked out. Here's my masonry bits. I use these for uh, when I don't care. When I want to drill through metal and concrete and and I know these are going to get banged up, I use these. I do have another set right here. I tend to be a little bit more uh, picky when I use these. Jab saw, a little rasp built into it, it's kind of cool. And, uh, this is pretty handy when you have certain situations or, or hangers or uh, demo. If you're gonna really use these, they'll, uh, they'll pretty much break. <laughs> You'll pretty much wear them out pretty good. But when you need them, you need them. I have my Weehaw screwdrivers, I have my socket connection so I can go to my, my impact. I have these uh, Weiss snips. I mainly use these for when I gotta make a long cut or really just for uh, cutting insulation. When you need to remove some insulation just do it one good way and cut it out and so these don't really get used that often okay I have my my bangers these are for a, a demo or just when you need a to bang something and uh, you can tell the flathead gets used on freaking 95% of the time. Uh, these are my 1000 volt insulated uh, tools by Klein. Uh, needle nose and this is probably what I use the most are these linemen when you're doing industrial work um, sometimes you just have to use the tip of the nose to bang things in or uh, bang things to the side to level them out a little bit uh, these just come in handy for so many things uh, pipe reamer Line. really really uh, handy especially when you have this vest uh, you can just put every tool you need easy to grab and and get to work okay. uh, these are uh, files that I have you don't want anybody cutting themselves on a, a metal or, or the cable or, you know, this just smooths it out and, you know, you can vacuum up what else there is or, you know, some people use a magnet to pick up little uh, pieces of metal. But uh, I love my, my files. Uh, this, is, this is my quick release. So you can pretty much put anything you want in this handle and uh, have a quick release. It's pretty nice. I have uh, these when I have to do some uh, patching. You know, typically I don't paint, but I will patch a hole that I uh, cut out. Extension bits. Uh, you know, these things... Uh, break 
all the time so I try to buy uh, more either it's gonna break your bit inside there or it's gonna break uh, back here or, or this just won't, uh, won't operate anymore so I go to uh, to some swap meets where they have some tools and I I try to make a little deal maybe they'll throw in another one you know if I buy four or something so I try to do that ah, here's some more extensions here's a longer uh, piece for my sockets I need to get in there a little bit more these these uh, Weiss these are awesome I use these all the time and uh, can be more happy with these for sure I got these these are little small ones I would prefer to get the Kinepics but uh, these were uh, cheaper I don't know how much I do like them in a way because what I got them for was being these narrow jaws but this pushes it away from uh, where you want to get to sometimes so you have to use uh, this side a little bit more and even this side has a little bit of a raised side so I mean they work I like them but uh, I've noticed a little problems I have these I've just had for forever and uh, I love these this is kind of a, a nuisance but works great okay I have a uh, chisel I think I got this at a swap meet I don't think I paid ten dollars for it but yeah it's uh it's cool to have this when you need it this is for uh, getting in tight spaces and angles. Uh, Lifesaver a lot of the times. Yep. Uh, let's see. I do have little things hidden in here too. So I have uh, this. It's also a Lifesaver when you need to get into certain areas. Works really good. I think I got that out of swab meat. And all I did was, uh, there was some holes that this came with as an organizer, but I drilled my own holes. Uh, when you're doing uh, cameras, you know, Get, you get these all the time with uh, when you purchase cameras so it's good to keep these uh, randomly in different places I kept this one here because it had extra room to kind of get some more torque in there Let's see. my I uh, fix it for small uh, screws and Mostly like electronics. Um, yeah, I, I like this set. It, it it fits in here pretty good, right, right there. But uh, yeah, the bits could be made of something stronger. Your flat tips are gonna chip if you're too aggressive, or put them in your drill or something like that. I have one chipped one. Learned my lesson. And I just try to be really careful with these kind of. My client strippers. These are new. They're pretty nice. Um, yeah, these work really well. Easy to lock lock right there. These are some of my smaller files. Uh, when you're doing like exterior molding or or panduit. You know, some people call it uh, you know you try to cut out a little channel for the 
the wires to come through and you know it's hard to get in there with your, your snips because you're gonna you're gonna leave an angle somewhere and these you can just kind of file it down and make it look a lot cleaner and nicer uh, some more uh, wire strippers uh, these are really good too I prefer the new ones I just got uh, it feels like you get more leverage with uh, with those Here's my, uh, my level, just added a piece of metal there, hold some screws, uh, my tape measure, I really like these because uh, you can see all the increments there. Laser, uh, laser distance measurer. Uh, this one goes 230 feet. In uh, bright situations, this isn't going to work uh, well for you, but in a warehouse that's semi uh, dark in a way, because it is a warehouse, um, you'll be able to see the laser and hit the laser. So, this is. Uh, and in small offices, this is just really quick to to estimate and figure things out just a little bit quicker. Okay, here's my uh, drill with the uh, unibit or step bit. I have tons of these. I either go uh, buy a really nice one, or I go to Swap Meet, or I go to Harbor Freight and get the quick release ones for my impact. Uh, those really work really good. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna take that out. My impact. Uh, this comes in great when you need to hold. A, uh, screw and get that in first uh, this uh, when I'm doing certain jobs I like to have certain bits on me so I added this on with uh, I chopped it uh, double-sided tape and uh, super glue <laughs> but I uh, I love this it makes my job a lot easier okay these are my my most carried uh, tool is, is a fluke pouch. Made some modifications. And uh, there's my punch now, my snips, uh, Sharpie, screwdriver, multi. Uh, punch that out. Uh, and there's my, my punch down tool. It's got another blade in there. Uh, one of these blades is for uh, cutting. And there's another blade on the other side of here that you can flip this and it's for not cutting when you want to daisy chain something out. Mostly like phone lines. Most most carried. First thing I wear when I go into a job and what I have on most of the time. Uh, ties, tape, bits, battery, uh, here's that clip, so you can tell it goes over your belt loop, you close it, lock it, and then you can hang those pouches on them and click them on. Okay. <sighs> Some uh, reflective tape. Here's my. This is my Vito. There's some uh, jumper wire. Here's a cable comb. 
another uh, adapter for the cable comb. Normally they call this, I think, a, uh, a blue cheater. And that's what I, I grew up calling it. But this allows you to plug in a line or an RJ45. And these are the pinouts on the conductor. Uh, you could trace something just off of the pins. So without uh, splicing into it or, or doing something, you can access the pairs off of an RJ45 and, and test each individual pair to see if uh, there's a a pair out there that has damage on it. Really good for troubleshooting. Uh, this, this is a big one. I lost my, my smaller one, two pair. This one's more like a, a data jack. And you can clip this onto a 66 block and turn it instantly to a jack. So this is very helpful when you want to uh, test things and uh, see if it works here or works there before it goes out to where the desk is because sometimes there's multiple points of connection and you can check hey does it work here does it work here does it work here and where does it fail and this comes in handy sometimes for stuff like that so this I got from uh, somebody who thought I'd like it and uh, it has alligator clips a plug on one side and a way to uh, plug something else in. Okay, let's get inside the bag. So this is kind of like uh, the meter, meter side of the bag. Um, Continuity tester. Um, so you turn this on, uh, flip it on, lights go one, two, three, four, and tell you that they're good. If you have a red, it's a it's a reverse. If you don't have lights, there's something wrong with that pair. Um, and if you just need to see if something has uh, data on a port, turning this on and plugging into a data jack that's connected to a switch. The switch will light this up in a certain certain order. Uh, sometimes it's one, two, three, four. Sometimes it's uh, two, three, one, four, or something like that. But you can see that you have activity or something on the line with this. Just flipping the transmitter on and sending that back to the switch. This is a very simple, simple tester, but it still helps a lot with certain troubleshooting. This is my uh, my other cable comb. And you put your cables in there, and you can uh, strain them out and have everything very, very nice for the customer. Here's my. Uh, Luke toner. This is the best thing ever. Uh, I lose these all the time, so I did have a coupler down here so I could plug this in and be at a desk and plug the phone in without moving the desk. But I'm gonna add that again. Uh, this you, you turn on, you can test for tone or continuity. Continuity will show you a short. Uh, this tester also, uh, if you short the other end when you clip on and there's another another one too when you clip this on and you short it the sound will change uh, super super handy this is the uh, probe and that's the sound that this thing makes I can 
Okay. Ooh, uh. Okay. So, there we go, and then what I'll do is I'll. Touch these together, release, and, and you get a different sound. So really helpful when uh, troubleshooting. Okay, what else do I got in here? <laughs> I got this for like 35 bucks when the suppliers had it. I uh, hardly ever use it. It's a continuity tester for HDMI. So if you thought there was a problem with the HDMI, you could plug this in or like the other continuity tester, when you plug this in the transmitter side, you'll see light. So you'll know that there's something there, but this does test uh, HDMI. Okay. This is my other case. So in here, I have my Klein uh, Commander. So you can hook this up to your laptop, you can get test results off of this, provide it to the customer upon completion of your job. Super professional, um, tells you footage and certain things about the cable. Uh, this is the remote. Um, that's what it tests up there. You can plug in your laptop there. Um, these were all the uh, connectors and remotes that I got. So I put couplers and adapters. Like there's one for uh, for BNC for cameras. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Tells me the footages and. Let's me know at what footage there is a problem. So instead of spending all that time trying to figure it out, you know, hey, I can either fix it at this point or it's not worth it and you need to run a new cable. And, you know, that saves a lot of time. Okay. What's that? This is just a... Uh, Cheapest butts that you can get, I think. Uh, right here, there is a uh, RJ11 plug, so you can plug a line directly in. This doesn't take any uh, batteries, gets power from the line. And uh, if you need to know what a phone number is, you can uh, call your cell phone and get the caller ID. And then again, these would clip onto a 66 block or a pair. There is a bed of nails in here that pierce through the insulation of a, a cable to make contact with the metal underneath. Uh, super cool. And this is a Vito Tech LC. Uh, here's what I have on the other side. Uh, plenum zip ties. Certain uh, jobs like high-rise buildings require uh, stuff to be covered in a material called uh, plenum. It gives off less smoke and it's mostly for high-rise buildings in case there's a, a fire. Okay, uh, flashlight, awesome flashlight, rechargeable, the best. This is my ICC uh, quick crimper. I use this on big jobs and uh, hard to reach areas where you know I can't terminate normally and that's uh, pretty cool. Does easy and HD for ICC which is basically all I use for uh, jacks. So it's good quality uh, jacks, not the, the China stuff that you know you may get a bad one or they're not very reusable. Mm, ICC is a a brand, a name, and 
it's a uh, confidence so it saves me on time troubleshooting and things like that so I, I use that uh, BNC or a, a compression compression crimper so I have different uh, heads here I can put on and this does BNC RCA coaxial uh, things like that it's solid it's it's, uh, it's all metal they sell plastic ones I've had those uh, crack and, and break on me and you know compression you want to just squeeze and and just make a good connection uh, this is this is a very good tool This strips uh, coax, RG59, uh, RG6, RG uh, quad, and I have a, a few of these laying around. Uh, another uh, crimper, you know, uh, ratcheting. I'm thinking I need, need to probably replace this. I've tried it again and these didn't work good, but you know, after you're done doing a termination you should always inspect uh, the RJ45 or the jack with your eyes it's it's the best tester you have so but sometimes I think I was noticing that this would not push down uh, the teeth in the RJ45 when the uh, IDCs that make the contact through the uh, insulation to the copper so yeah, I don't really use this one anymore. I'm questioning it and it may be gone and, and replaced. This is my uh, Cat 5e or 110 block, which a lot of people still use. Uh, these uh, 110 blocks for uh, your Empo or uh, old telephone systems. Uh, this pretty much will punch them all in at the same time and, and cut it it's uh, I don't use it as much as I used to but I mean I did used to use this a lot just things kind of change in the world um, this removes uh, coax and you can screw this on and use it as a as a pull and this is more for cutting coax or rounded cable, keep it uh, not squished as much because it's, it's rounded in the middle. Here's like a, uh, a scope that I have. I can look inside the wall. It works pretty good, saved my ass a, a few times, so not bad. Let's see. There's my, my sawzall. And here's my top of my box that I bring in. And let's see. So, keep everything in bags. This is uh, gloves, uh, unibits. Like I said, I got a, got a lot of them. Well, it's on here in a bit. But it's in there. Let's see. Okay. And then these are the ones I get from Harper Freight. You get a little three pack. These are the three you get. Very, very useful. I go through those a lot. And then these are just older ones. Oh. This is my favorite attachment. Hold on. This just really holds really good. So I use this for mounting TVs. I drill through the... Uh, through the stud and I make a hole like in a commercial setting like a it's a metal stud so you drill through here you 
pushing your toggle. It grabs onto the back of the beam. It's not just uh, drywall holding onto the TV, which <laughs> sad to say, I, I think most people just hold onto the drywall. It's not the uh, the right way to do it, and this will hold up a TV during the an earthquake. So, or somebody even just pulling on it. Uh, but yeah, this is it's like the right way to do it. Well, I got this one, this, uh, some caulking stuff in here. You can use these on the edges, make really clean. Found these little bags that hold it, so just put them in here. Diablo, I have a whole set. Uh, everything I'm showing you guys right now is not everything that I, I have, but yeah, Diablo, awesome. Electrical uh, tester checks uh, voltage for me. Oh, that's nice. So, Makita. Makita makes this. Uh, their socket design is super awesome okay so you take this and okay take this you got this it's got a little ball there This has a little ball there. That allows it to uh, to pivot. So if you have to go at an angle, uh, this this gets you in sometimes and works really well. Or you can even have it go straight. And it's small, compact, easy to carry, um, takes care of a lot of situations. So this is always with me as well. I do have a, a bigger socket set in the, in the car, but yeah. Just keep collecting them and filling this bag up. I did. Uh, I did lose a whole bag full of bits with uh, working with somebody. Uh, stuff like that just just happens. I hate it, but uh, 